What's up crypto fam, airdrops finder here. Today we are all about the red hot Initia testnet airdrop. Initia just launched their incentivized testnet and with Binance leading their seed funding round, this project is turning heads. Here is your chance to get involved early and potentially earn some sweet init tokens. So let's talk about what is Initia. So Initia is a next generation DEX built for security, speed and innovation. They are aiming to be the go-to platform for secure and efficient crypto trading. Their testnet lets users experience the platform firsthand and help identify any bugs before the official launch. And this is your not average testnet, Initia is rewarding users with init tokens for participating in their testnet. So if you want to participate in testnet, then you can follow these steps which I am gonna do now. So to start with the testnet, first you have to download the or install the Initia wallet. For that, click on this and add to your browser. So once you install the Initia wallet, you can click on your add-ons and then click on Initia wallet. And then you will get these options to create an account or you can click on view other options to create new account from scratch. And always make sure to save your recovery phase. And once your account is ready, then you can click on get testnet token. So once you click on get testnet token, then you will redirect to testnet faucet and your wallet address will be automatically paste here. If not, then you can click here and then paste again here. And before you get tokens from the faucet, you have to join their Discord server and get verified there and you have to receive the faucet verified role also there. So once you get these roles, paste your address here and click on submit. Then your Discord will be connected. Then you have to click on authorize. And after that, you will get success message and it will say 30 init tokens sent to your wallet address. After that, you click on Initia testnet website. And from here, you can earn more XP. And to earn more XP, you have to complete tasks within the testnet. These tasks might involve things like swapping tokens, providing liquidity or even minting your own domain name on Initia. The more XP you rack up, the bigger your share of the airdrop pool will be. So the more active you are, the more init tokens you could potentially earn. And the testnet is live for 8 weeks, giving you ample time to grind out those XP points. So first you have to click on faucet which I have already done and I have got 30 init tokens from the faucet. You can check here. As you can see, I have 30 init tokens on my wallet. So the second step is buy and assign an initial username so click on that so i'm gonna type a username let's say airdrops finder so airdrops finder dot init and it's showing available and if your username doesn't show as available then you can type something number after that and it will say available so you have option to increase your registration period like one year, two year. So let me check how much it costs for two years. So it says at most zero in it. Let me try for three years. Four, five. So for all it's saying zero in it. So let me check if it works for 10 years. Connect wallet, initia, select. No. Okay. So it says no balance for 10 years. So I have to try again for one year. Okay, so one year is working and it will cost 0.0, .0 something fees. Click on approve. Then type your wallet password. And again, click on approve. So now it says registration complete. Airdrops finder unit username is registered. Let me refresh. So we have done tasks 1 and 2 already. Now let's do the task 3 which is swap 1 init to USDC ETH or TIA. Click on this and we have to connect our wallet again. Now it's connected. So we have 29 so I'm gonna swap for 3 init tokens for USDC. 
click on next and then confirm approve and then click on approve again so the swap is working and uh, we have done three init tokens to three usdc so now let's swap the init tokens to ethereum and tia let's click on swap again and you can click on here and then change it to ethereum and then click on again three and click on next and confirm so three init tokens are swapped to ethereum now let's again swap to tia doing the same process so you have to follow the same process for swapping for each like ethereum usdc or tia click on approve and it's done so we have done swapping also for ethereum usdc and tia as you can see here and it says swap one in it but uh, i did three in it so you can do one in it also but i did three in it now let's go to task 4 which is stake in it tokens with a validator so click on that and our wallet is already connected here so i have only 20 units left so i will stake 5 in it click on next and it will ask you which validator will you stake to so you have options like these validators so from my experience you have to always select a validator out of top 10 validators and always check the commissions it should be below 10 percent like here you can see they are they have 20 percent 10 percent 6 5 like that but you have to also check their sign blocks so don't select any validator like uh, 0 out of 2464 and 0 percent commission because they don't have much power so you can select from the below lists and also stay away from the exchanges validators like coin hall or you will get in other wallets also so i'm gonna select uh, notes guru for five init tokens as of now and if you go to stake again then you can see here options init usdc init or this ethereum init pair or t init pair so i'm gonna select init pair and now again i'm gonna select five init tokens to stake again in a different validator so this time i'm gonna select for a five percent commission so this time i'm gonna select origin stake and click on next and confirm and then click on approve so staking is also done so i have done swapping also for usdc tr and ethereum and staking also done so total four tasks are done and let's do the task five which is stake init lp with a validator so click on that and you will get the stake page again and this time you have to click on these pairs like usdc init ethereum init or ti init so for that you must have usdc or ethereum or tr tokens on their wallet so we have already swapped our init tokens to usdc ethereum or tr so i'm gonna select usdc now and as you can see we have three usdc so i'm gonna select here two and click on next and it will ask again which validator will you stake to so let's see the options here so we have the same options like before so i'm gonna select nodes guru and click on next confirm and then approve so it says you staked 0.4 usdc plus 1.51 init tokens so this time i'm gonna provide liquidity to ethereum init pairs click on this and then i have around 0.00872 ethereum so i'm gonna click on max and then half it click on next and then select the validator this time i'm gonna select origin stake 
you can select any random validator it's uh, not compulsory to select nodes guru or any other because it's a test net and they are not gonna give you something in rewards so these validators are optional but you have to always select based on the commission and these sign blocks so this time i'm gonna select origin stake click on next and then click on confirm and approve now do the same process again with the tia pair so click on that and click on max and then half it around one three click on next select on the validator this time i'm gonna select block sync click on next confirm and then approve so staking is also done for t up here so we have done five tasks and the sixth task is claim sticking rewards so these sticking rewards you will get after some times so after you've done all the tasks and after five or six minutes once you reload the page you will see the mint option on your tasks so you can click on mint and then approve and you will get this nft which is right for the avatar jenny and you got 100 xp so you have to mint all the other nfts also so click on this now approve and the name of this nft is head of the avatar jenny so for this you also get 100 xp now click on third click on mint and then approve and it is left paw of the avatar jenny and you get also 100 xp again now let's do the same for task 4 mint and then approve and this is back right paw of the avatar jenny and you got 100 xp and the last is mint and the last one is body of the avatar jenny for that we also get 100 xp so we got 500 xp for 5 tasks and now you can see at task 6 there is some amount showing for any tokens like 0.01 so these rewards are from the staking which we done for the tasks 4 and 5 from here staking so you will get every day some rewards from staking tab at task 6 so you can claim right now also but i would recommend you to claim once you have more than 5 because to receive 0.01 in tokens you are gonna pay 0.17 fees so it's not worth it to claim rewards now so you can skip as of now and on the leaderboard you can see your rank so my rank is now showing 82,000 something and as you can see i have 500 xp which i received from all the five tasks and you have to keep level up your journey by doing swapping and staking and also interacting with the minishas like tukana and blackwing and now let's talk about how you can gain more xp as you know this is week one and you have to complete all the tasks till week eight so keep doing the tasks till week eight and you can get more xp from their discord for that you have to gain several roles from there and you can also level up your jenny and you can also interact with the minitias like tukana blackwing in it ai launch so let me show you so if you click on your wallet here and click on nft and click on manage my minishas so here you can see these are hidden in it ai public testnet mini move mini swam mini wasm tukana noon and blackwing so you can also add them to your wallet so i'm gonna add all these and after adding you can click on their websites like so on blackwing you can either create a new account using your any of the wallets or like metamask or other wallets or the second option is by entering an invite code here now let's check how to interact with these mini shells. let's try with init ai so once you click on that you have to connect your wallet from here mine is already connected and you can mint any of the nfts from here let's try with uh, jenny click on mint and here it says one init required so for that you can bridge your init tokens using the initia bridge let's try to bridge so click on connect wallet 
I have now 9.7 init left. Now let's try with two init tokens. Select network. So here you will see all the mini shares like init AI, mini move, and so on. So we are gonna select init AI. So you can click on add my address and it will paste your address and select token and click on submit. So the transaction is completed from the initial bridge. If you reload your page and now you can see here you are getting an option to enter a prompt to mint a NFT. Because now we have the two init tokens on this AI network which is init AI. So you have to enter a prompt like it says the concept for Jenny collection is the Q test black dog so i'm gonna copy and paste the same prompt here let's try with this one if it doesn't work then you can change your prompt and click on enter and click on approve so it may take a while to complete this progress so it took around three to four minutes and the new images were generated using that prompt and you will not get any message or pop-up after entering that prompt so you can check the activity on your wallet here and here you can see mint was executed three minutes ago and you will see the balance i deposited two init tokens now i have only 0.93 left so the rest of it took for the minting process so you have to keep interacting with all these minitias to earn more xp so the initial testnet airdrop is a great opportunity to be a part of something big from the ground floor so are you ready to join the testnet frenzy let me know in the comments below don't forget to like this video subscribe for more crypto content and hit that notification bell to stay updated